So thank you so much, uh, Yuval and uh, Jonathan, and I now take a great pleasure in welcoming the uh, British Ambassador, Matthew uh, Gould. Uh, Ambassador Gould uh, is doing a splendid job here in Israel, but I would like to emphasize especially his uh, huge efforts in order to uh, bring together uh, scholars and scientists from Israeli universities and uh, British uh, universities to strengthen the academic ties between uh, institutions in uh, both countries. Uh, and he graciously agreed to say a couple, to pronounce a couple of uh, concluding remarks in this uh, joint symposium of Tel Aviv University and Oxford University devoted to uh, Jesus and uh, Judaism. So, Ambassador Gould, the microphone is yours. Thank you so much. Well, thank you very much, and thank you to those who have stayed and braved returning in the weather. I know this isn't a conference about the end of days, but it, outside it slightly feels that way. Um, and thank you for inviting me. Um, I have a particular reason I wanted to come and join even just the end of this conference, and that is because I'm in my fifth year as ambassador, and I've been to hundreds of scientific events, events celebrating links between Britain and Israel in nanotechnology or neurology or stem cell research. This is the first event I've been to in this field, in religion and theology. And as a graduate of theology, um, I wanted at least once before I, came, before I left Israel to speak to an event in my own field. Um, that's not the only reason. It's uh, actually quite a timely week for me to be closing a, a conference on this subject. In the past week, because of uh, the combination of Christmas and friends visiting, my family and I have been to the Church of uh, Nativity in Bethlehem, to the Church of a Holy Sepulchre, to Capernaum. We have visited many of the sites which I suspect have been featuring in your discussions. Um, and I wanted, in closing the, the conference, to make two points, really. One, a general point, and one, a specific point to this conference. And the general point is this, that I believe meetings such as this one are hugely important and hugely valuable. They're important for their own sake, for the fact that it brings together world-leading experts in whichever subject it is, from Britain and Israel, so that they can cooperate and talk and compare notes and be more together than they can separately. I think it's important because of the message it sends about our determination to talk and to cooperate. And I think it's important because of the bonds that it builds between our countries. And I say this, I mean, really very fervently as ambassador, as the person who has the responsibility for overseeing the relationship, I know that the web of friendships and contacts and professional respect that emerges from conferences like this is extraordinarily important. And if I could just be mildly political for one second, I... I represent a government which really profoundly opposes calls for boycotts. Because whatever we think about the political situation, whatever we think about any government's policies, we don't believe that not talking is the answer. We believe that not talking builds walls rather than tears them down. And so a lot of what I do, a lot of what my team does, is designed to give expression to that belief that we are better talking than not talking. And so it's a pleasure for me in any conference, on any subject, to give that message. But there's one, one message I would like to give this conference, which is sometimes I feel, and sometimes I have been guilty of, it, of this, that cooperation in science tends to get the lion's share of the money, and the lion's share of the attention. And I believe, not just because I'm talking to you, not just because my degree is in theology, 
or divinity, as they used to call it charmingly, where I studied it. Um, I believe that promoting collaboration in the arts and the humanities is itself incredibly important. It's important because it creates, I think, a different quality of contact and understanding and trust between universities, between academics and scholars, and between countries. I think it's important if I could be corny for a second because it nourishes the soul rather than just the body. And so I think as I leave, if I have a regret, I have many regrets, but one of them will be that we haven't put quite as much effort into promoting collaboration in the arts and humanities as we might have done, and it's something I will leave on my handover notes to my successor to, to redress the balance. But I also wanted to say in relation to today and the subject that you've been discussing, that I do think it is a really important subject to discuss because I think if we are to have an understanding of the, where Western culture and Western civilization is coming from, if we are to have an understanding of the foundations on which our shared culture is built, then we need to delve into precisely the issues that you've been delving into today. I think if we're to have an understanding of the relationship between Christianity and Judaism, and I think as a, um, a follow-on from that, an understanding of the roots of Christian anti-Semitism, then I think we need to delve into the subjects that you've been delving into today. And as a consequence, I think if we are to have an understanding of who we are and where we come from, both our countries, then I think we need to have invested in thinking about and discussing and researching the subjects you've delved in today. So I'm sorry that I get to join you right at the end. And in an ideal world, I would have spent all day sitting listening rather than just coming in at the end. But I hope that it's been a good day. I hope it has been a worthwhile discussion. And I hope most of all that the links, the friendships, and the mutual respect which you've been developing today will be something you'll be able to take with you in the future. Thank you very much. So I think we couldn't have asked for a better concluding remarks to this uh, meeting. And uh, thank you very much, Ambassador Matthew Gold. And uh, now it's in your hands. You know, we've done everything. Now students and, uh, I, I, you know, any academia and everybody, now we have to make it happen to collaborate. And it's in our hands. Thank you very much for coming. And uh, don't be so sorry you, you weren't all day because it's all taped and it's all in the web so you can utilize it. Thank you very much.